what's going on entertain so tell come to y'all with another video once again i want to thank y'all for sending me thoughts and prayers okay i am not in the danger zone y'all know i am in the soul flow but it's near me because i don't want to dox myself but like we're near i will say that i'm near so yeah but i'm not like you know like tampa down like i'm not where i gotta get out right but still send me prayers because i'm not trying to get flooded it's some more ish okay so shout out to the entertainers that's been sending well wishes dm me all that like i lay y'all down okay so today we're talking a little bit hip-hop atlanta i think it's like episode like 12 13. the episode opens up with uh lil zane throwing ashley a picnic i don't know how a picnic is gonna solve you not going to take a paternity test for a baby that may or may not be yours but he decided hey let's throw a picnic aka let's do an event so i can keep continuing being on the show and have more scenes so he does a picnic for Ashley. Ashley shows up with Amy. Amy's body is so t. It's like not even funny. Like her her abs aren't even washboard. They just wash. Like it looked like somebody put clay on them bitches and just said and sculpt them holes. Like her not going down a path of pursuing fitness and wellness is insanity to me. I'm not saying she's a bad musician, but I'm just saying, like, when I look at her, I just think of fitness and beauty. So it's like, you need to tap into that more, Amy. I'm giving you tips, my nigga, like, on God. I'll buy whatever workout regimen freaking tea she's selling because it's like, damn. You feel me? Like, it, it, it looks nice. It doesn't look surgically made. She might have a BBL, don't get me wrong, but you know what I'm saying? Like, girls can have BBLs and still look funny. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you could tell she actually works out anyways they start to talk to uh ashley little zane start to talk to chaotic and amy notices that you know scrappy and chaotic haven't been making public appearances together i'm like what are they a lesbian couple like why they gotta make public appearances together i didn't recap the last episode y'all sorry it wasn't that interesting anyways uh <laughs> i'm just saying it. so she notices they haven't been making public appearances together so because of that, um, she asked, hey, what's going on with you and Scrap? If y'all don't know, I've covered this on my channel. Scrap and Kayana had a big falling out over like money situations, dealings. If y'all don't know, they were on the show called People's Side. I did cover the show. In my opinion, Chaotic is a star. And he also knows how to be a TV personality and produce. He literally was dragging Scrappy along that show. Like Scrappy could care less to be there. He was just there for the check. Had it not been for Chaotic, there would be no show. So I'm team Chaotic on this 100%. Because just off of watching that show, I see Chaotic's work ethic. And I see Scrappy's work ethic. Scrappy was even scared to send the girls home, and it was a love show. I'm like, what are you doing? If Flavor Flav, as ugly as that nail girl is, could send a bitch home, you can't tell me you can't send a bitch home. Because Flavor Flav looked like a roach, okay? He looked like a booty of a roach. And that nigga was sending bitches home left to right. Okay, hey yo, New York. You get what I'm saying? Like he just did not care, and he was so timid to do it. It's like wow, like this man. Like I thought, like I would just say, if y'all have watched Pick Side, watch it because he made me look at Scrappy a different way. I'm not gonna lie. Like I thought, I thought he was another way. I'm not gonna lie. It, I really did. So chaotic starting to go out saying how you know he's messing with his business. Uh, opportunities and stuff and how they started a YouTube channel together. He was putting no work in a YouTube channel and now he took his name off the YouTube channel. As a YouTuber myself, this is why I don't collab with motherfuckers. I collab with people every once in a while. Love you, Scotty by nature. Okay. We have another collab coming in soon. We y'all know we do the love hip hop videos quarterly. That's my bookie but I love me some uh Scotty by nature. But I'm very selective with who I collab with because one people are messy as hell. Two people like to use you. Three people are lazy as hell. Four people you just may not connect with on a video. Like me and Scotty's videos, we be keen. Y'all go and watch our lives, the videos we've done, we key. We laugh. We giggle, we cackle. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody could do that with. Sometimes not everybody needs to collab together. And that's what people need to know. And I think Chaotic slowly but surely learned that because it's like he didn't really have the work ethic to put into it to be able to, you know, be successful when it comes to YouTube channel. And it's one thing to collab with a motherfucker, but to have a collab channel is crazy. If I would have talked to Chaotic, I would have told you, nigga, get two separate channels and just collab. Because 
having a collab collaborative channel that's a whole nother monster because y'all not even splitting down the check for like a video y'all splitting out a check for a channel that's insanity i could already tell you that wasn't gonna work out from the job mm -mm. y'all not even a couple couples be doing that shit when y'all fall on that's when you do a couple's channel you <laughs> prank some shit like oh got you like you know what i'm saying but like friends i don't know about that <laughs> i'm just saying it get real muddy quick especially when money's involved i'm telling you so basically he didn't feel like he was putting in the work so he took his name off of it and Keanu was basically saying he's a talker. Amy's like, you know, I'm with, I'm, you know, I'm on the phone with him late night. So he be talking business. Amy, shut up. You just started talking to that nigga. How you know what he be talking about on the phone? Like you just started dating him like two episodes ago. <laughs> I'm so sick of her. Like, shut up, Amy. Like, get out of here. So Mo, who is Jock's business associate, ends up meeting with young Jock. You know how that Chloe Bailey song go? Do you ever wonder who's fuck who else is fucking your man? It's Mo. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That girl Mo either wants to screw Jock or have screw Jock. I don't care what nobody says. The way she was looking at him in that scene, licking her veneers, she wants some of Jock. Meet me in the associate club. It's going down. Me in the, meet me in the business room. It's going down. Meet me in the bathroom. It's going down. You can't tell me no different. She was looking at him all types of one of those. So they meet because the video that went viral and she he wants uh, Mo and Jock to basically meet up to be able to talk it out because Mo really didn't even clear Jock's name and say, hey, you know, that's just my business associate. I don't like him like that. That's my bro. That's how I buy. She didn't do that. So everybody automatically assumed that was some girl that was trying to get with uh, Jock. When she said, um, is it a problem because of how beautiful I am? Because I'm a pretty girl. He was like, <laughs> listen, Kendra, there is a fucking already. Or she wants to fuck. I'm sorry. Like, that was very inappropriate. All business ties need to get cut off if I were you, Kendra. It's actually very disrespectful. Because y'all got to understand, they filmed this show, and they already have their issues. And then there's another process. That's what reality TV is so tricky. You film it, and you're already feeling the emotions. And then you got to wait, sit back, and watch it over again, and, 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 and wait for everybody's reaction to it. So Kendra now is mad to today. It's uh, October 9th. She was mad October 8th. <laughs> like, I'm telling you. Like, y'all got to understand. It's very disrespectful. That scene to me was very disrespectful. You having to put your arm around her and then take a look. Like, ugh. oh, Lord. And the girl is a pretty girl. She's actually really pretty, okay? She's actually really pretty. And that's the thing. Young Jock has a, a, young Jock has a type. They speak well. They're beautiful middle-aged black women. They have a business mindset. And they're super naive. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's his type. It's, it's like coded down. I've never seen Jock have either baby mom outside of his type or date somebody outside of his type. Except for Carly. No shake, Carly. So Sierra's having a music video shoot, which Chaotic is helping her out with. And we have on the set Hurricane Chris. Let me tell y'all something. Money talks, BS walks. Shout out to Sierra, because Sierra put her money where her mouth is. She said, oh, y'all think I can't rap or can't pursue a rap career? I'm going to pay for it. Because you can't tell me Hurricane Chris just hopped on your track just for the strength of it. I'm sorry. I think you pay that nigga a good coin. That's just my thing. I might be completely wrong. But it's like... The man is known, you know, he has the hits, hits, and also, you know, is known in the industry. Sierra is not even a rapper. Like, that's not what she's known for. She just started pursuing this, like, yesterday. So I just don't see him like, oh, I want to help on your track. I feel like, you know, a nice chunk of change was put behind it, which I'm not mad at it. So uh, also, Sierra's mad because she found out that Spice is letting Amy diss her on the cast album. We will be doing a video and a breakdown of the cast album when it does drop. 
because I'm trying to hear. We might do a listening party on Twitch because I'm trying to hear what it really sound like. Okay. Now, what y'all really should have did is brought back Tommy so y'all could have. I'm gonna get it. Uh, part two, the remix. Bitch, stop, stop living on my timeline. I'm all about to let her be with a dollar sign. Why you sleep with a nigga for some liquor kind? Life for rearrange, body or eat it fine. Post for the blood cat, come on me, clean up, come on, Instagram, bad gal. Come on now, like, Spice, I'll still never forgive you for that. Uh, the fact that y'all and Tommy just can't get it together. And give us another bomb ass track the way that y'all did. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Now that should be on the Love Hip Hop album, okay? Amy just that I saw in that last episode, it was lame. I'm sorry. I don't like Amy's music. I'm sorry. It, it, it was very lame to me. It didn't hit like she thought it did. It don't stick like grits. That's just how I feel. But to act like the producers didn't tell Amy to, you know, do that diss and then and the producers didn't tell Spice to let Amy diss her on that track for Drama purposes, uh, Bambi, you're a little bit delusional because clearly that's the case. It was Sierra's rap for me. Sierra said, I'm that bitch and I talk in my long ass dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you Sierra, you just bored. Like, just tell us, like, I was bored and I need a reason to be on Love and Hip Hop because I'm missing the hip hop. I got a whole lot of love. You feel me? Like, Come on, Sierra. <laughs> Come on. Now, Mo ends up meeting with Kendra. Kendra said, I'm going to have my hoochies outfit on while I confront this bitch. Girl came with, like, you know, a G skirt, okay? A G top that was made off of jean pants and, you know, stitched together, okay? Very much 90s uh, IRL vibe. Okay, so she comes in um, to like, it looks like, I'm guessing it's Jock's home or something that's attached to Jock. Now, Mo's outside, she pulls up, and Kendra comes outside, she's like, what's up? Like, what was up with that shade room post? The girl goes, Mo, she goes, ask shade room. I don't know. Let me tell y'all something. Kendra had every right in that scene to slap the dog ish out of Mo. I don't care what nobody say. For her to have said I did business with him before you came along is crazy. Jock, that is not your woman. He shouldn't be speaking to your woman like that. And for you to act like Kendra was acting out of line and like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. When they started confronting each other, Kendra, I know, is hot than a skillet right now, bitch. With a skillet with hot grease. Nugga, I already know she mad because she watching this bad. Because she didn't see you go up to her talking about, I'm sorry about that. The way that girl was so comfortably, <laughs> like, she was so comfortably disrespectful to Kendra. I was like, wow, like, you had something going on with him. And the nail in the coffin was, if I could have your man, I, I would. Don't ever bring that lady around that nigga again. I'm sorry. That's like the ultimate disrespect. That's like a bitch spitting in your face. She might as well have said, hua right in your face like that's to me that's the equal of that somebody say if i could have something of yours i could i just choose not to that's right in your face same thing it equals i just couldn't like i don't know the strength of this bitch kendra to have to not pop her right in her mouth dead clear in her face shabow i'm telling you like you have all rights to do it Okay, and to me, Jock, if Kendra wants Jock to take her seriously, you should file for divorce. That's the only way he's gonna really wake up. Cause then he's gonna know it's serious. Okay, besides that, I just don't see a lasting, to be honest. Because to me, this was like the ultimate disrespect of what that mole girl did. And for Mole to say, oh, I don't need security, you're gonna need security. You better be glad, because some people don't take rejection well. You better hope. Mo is not single white woman to where, you know, she gets them goons on your ass, jock. Because, I don't know, that was a little weird to me for her to say that. Like, mm. So, y'all, it's time to have the rehearsals of We Are The World, We Are The Hip Hop, 
We are the ones that make a better day. Now let's start hip hopping. Okay. It's the rehearsals of the cast album. All right. Now they all kind of gather up. They start talking about who's this and who on the album because Baby has found out that Amy this her. It also has found out that Scrappy and Amy go together. Now, the scene is kind of awkward already because Scrappy and Chaotic not really looking at each other or talking to each other like that because they got tissue, they got beef, and they really want to beat each other up. And then also, Amy, uh, Bambi trying to figure out if she could really diss, you know, Scrappy on this album because now it's all fair game to diss him now that him and Amy apparently go together. Now, do I feel like if they end up do dating that it will last? No. I think Amy's mother will have a say in that and will make that come to an end. I don't see that everlasting. I feel like it's all for storyline purposes. That's it. That's all. Okay. Now, next thing you know, Spice enters in looking like Rick James. I'm like, bitch, is that Rick James? No, nah, bitch, it was Spice. So she comes in and she's basically shocked. She's like, so Scrappy come up to me yelling ballistic. So I'm like, what is going on here with the cast album? And I'm like, Spice, please, you know exactly what you were doing, putting all of these people on this album, knowing damn what happened to motherfuckers ain't no really damn musicians. Bambi, no shade, but we heard a track from you since Shimmer. So I'm not trying to hear you on an album. I'm sorry. <laughs> so Spice proceeds to tell them to basically get up and perform their song. Jock's song was it done. We had a uh, Bambi song. She don't want to do it no more because of the distance. Amy gets up there and spits her poetic justice. Not gonna lie, she didn't do too bad. It's just, it's not like this is a song you're going to cut on and listen to. That's just how I feel. I don't like this is to where the diss is the only thing that's great about the song. Is the song playable? Does it have replay value? It did not. Now, Bambi goes up there and gives her version of her diss, okay? We're going to call it, instead of Shimmer, this shit going to be called Glimmer, Okay. Ah, okay, another one where no replay value, okay? The only one that had replay value was Chaotic Song. Shout out to Chaotic. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to even dick eat him. He just, he's on a low level to some other cast member, just based off of his talent, okay? They be underestimating that hood ass never. I see, okay? Now, um, we see Randy Rucci sort of like give birth. And it seemed like that was like her outro from Love and Hip Hop because she was basically saying, bye, I'm going to go be Mama Rennie. Okay, I got the time to be around you ratchets. No, no, okay. Next week's episode, the fact that Amy is seriously dating Scrappy is kind of wild. It's kind of insane. And I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I want to see Amy Mama reaction. Now, Bambi kind of clocked your tea, Amy. She said, you look like Mama D. And that's why Scrappy wants you. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think down below about this episode and where I'm gonna be. No personal thing.